Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are learning about a new operator called count. No points for guessing. As the name indicates, if we want to get the count of the values that are emitted by our source, so we can easily get it using the count operator. That's what we are going to learn today. This is operator number 15, part 20 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. I told you I will be doing around 30 plus, but looks like I have to do more than 40 plus or 50 plus because there are so many operators that I want to cover for you. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Ask me any doubts or queries that you have. Following are the topics that I've covered already in this series. Make sure that you go sequentially, step by step, so that you have continuity in learning and master all the operators with me. Today we are learning about operator number 15, count. So count operator will give back an observable that will skip the first occurrence of count items taken as input, right? So if you have a certain set of, let's say, um, values that are emitted, in this case, you can convert an array into an observable easily, or you can always get from HTTP API calls. So count will give the number of values that are there. That's simplest and easiest way to get the count. Let's see in hands-on. So we have this, uh, we did the, in the last episode, we used distinct and skip operator. So make sure that you go and check it out as well. All right, so first let me show you what it would give you if I just print. So all I have is a array which has few values and I'm making an observable out of it using from operator. So category observable is the one that we are looking at. So if you go to application and close this and inspect, go to console and if I start typing, it will show you all the values, right? even the unique or the repeated ones also, the duplicates. So we are not interested in that. We are interested in getting the count of it. So the fastest and the simplest way is to use the count operator and just add count, right? So now it says it's a void, uh, we have to operator. Okay, so it says count uh, is not, okay. So here we have to pass a value and we are going to say count two or are we getting it from the correct library let's check it out count no it's not from the it's coming from console that's why so make sure that you don't make that mistake it should be from the rxjs operator so let's re-import it so when you do it here you can see console you can see rxjs operator so let's take the rxjs operator okay so now when i say count you will get the count so here we are seeing nine, right? That's the count of that particular values that are emitted from the observable. So let's add some values just to double make sure that we are getting it right. I'm going to add it again. So now it should emit us 10. Okay, so there we are, right? So that's the fastest way to get the count without writing much uh, logic from our end and we can directly get the count, right? But let's say our requirement is get all the unique values and then count how many are there, right? So that's, you can add distinct operator along with it. So now it will give you all the unique values and then give you the count. So you can see here now it says six because four are repeated, right? So this is yet another very, very important uh, operator, especially when you are doing data filtering, you will find that you will use multiple uh, operators together to get the exact de desired value, right? So go ahead, give it a try. Make sure that you have a value. Try to get the count of those values, right? Let me know if you if you have any issues or queries or questions or comments. Please drop them in the comment section. In the next episode, we are going to look at some mathematical operators starting next episode. Uh, again, no points <laughs> for you guys if you are guessing it right. Max operator will give you the maximum value from the list of values that are emitted by the source, observable, right? We'll learn all about it in the next episode. So far, we have covered all the filtering um, operators like take, filter, count, distinct, skip, etc. Make sure you check them out and join me in the next episode. We will learn about max operator, that is operator number 16. 
please do subscribe to my channel please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode